Disaster in the Highlands. And we're driving along this beautiful road, and all of a sudden there's a big bump, and we got a flat. Big car, big car, big car, no. Hey guys, so it is about two days since last time I saw you. Well, actually that's a lie, it's been about 36 hours, but as you guys can tell, I'm still at the cottage, and I'm in much, much better spirits. Um, I look a lot better, for sure. Actually, looking back at the footage, I looked so, so sad and defeated because I was, but anyways, we've been at the cottage now, as I said, for about two days and things are looking a lot better. Um, just give you guys a quick update what's happened with the car and then I'll let you guys know what we've been up to the last couple of days. After I finished filming the little clip that you guys just saw, Mr. came back to the cottage about 30 minutes later. Although he wasn't all by himself and he didn't bring the car, he came by a taxi, which actually came by the same taxi driver that drove us. So he got to meet all of us, all of us and talk to all of us a little bit. But anyways, um, Mr. got to the college about half an hour after I filmed the last clip and he looked so sad when he got here and defeated because when he got into the house he told me that the repairman that they were supposed to come at 11.15 that night came on time but then he went to look at the car and then he realized there's nothing that he could do because it wasn't just one tire that was flat, it was actually two tires and one of the rims of a car was damaged. So he ended up having to kind of basically abandon the car. Well, he had to leave the key underneath the tire so that the repair guy could turn it the next day because they were going to send a flatbed tow truck to pick it up and take it to the shop. So that's what I ended up doing. So we spent all of yesterday at the cottage, kind of just like hanging out and waiting to see what would happen with the car. But we did a lot of fun things. So while we waited to hear about the car, we went for a walk down to the waterfront, which is, I'll show you guys in a second, but literally I'm looking at it. It's right here. It's amazing. Actually, earlier this morning, there was a rainbow. I'll put a picture um, so you guys can see if you want over the lock, which is amazing. Anyways, I uh, went down for a walk for the waterfront. Little man and I had our well, I had my tea, little man was just hanging out with me and drinking his soya milk, and then about five minutes into just sitting there, he decided he was gonna get up and start screaming for Nessie, which was really cute. And I think we may have seen her. Stay tuned, but I saw something that looked like a ripple. Could be a, a tail, I don't know. Shh, don't spoil it. Um, and then we went for a little walk, and then we ended up going swimming accidentally. Where we're saying there's a block of cottages, and so we went kind of like on the street between the cottages and then back, um, down to the beach from the other angle and then walked back and ended up doing some very wet rock climbing. So I intended to swim anyway, but I didn't intend to swim at that time fully clothed, but it's really fun. I've got a clip, I'll put it in here. But yeah, anyways, um, at one point in the day, we got a phone call from the garage saying they were having a hard time finding someone to pick up the car, which was kind of nerve wracking because the car was literally just sitting there. And so it took until almost like 3 p.m. the next day for them to finally tell us they were gonna do something with the car. So they ended up finally getting it towed and taking it to the repair place, which I'll put the name of the repair place down in the description if you guys are in this area and you have problems. Also because they are incredible and I'll get back to that in a second. But uh, unfortunately because of the time they weren't able to fix the car yesterday and so the car ended up staying at the shop overnight and then was able to be repaired today, which was amazing. But if I'm completely honest with you, I feel like it was kind of like a very expensive blessing in disguise because it kind of gave our family time to kind of like slow down yesterday and just really enjoy being at the lake, which I feel like if that didn't happen, we may have gone out to do something. I don't know, just spent a lot less time at the lake the last couple of days, so that's been great. And then around 11.30 today, we got a phone call from the um, repairman, and he said the car had been complete and was fixed and was ready to go, so we got ready really quickly and we went to Inverness to pick up the car. Thankfully, we didn't have to take a taxi this time. We ended up just being able to get a local bus from our village into the city, and so we were able to pick up the car and bring it home, but yeah. Pretty expensive, ended up costing like 250 pounds, which was a whole lot for two tires and a rim repair. But he also took off all of the like, um, I think they're called lug nuts and replace all those because they were these one kind that you have to have a special key to unlock and we don't have that key. So every time we have to have a tire fixed and ends up costing a little bit more because they have to go find a key and everything. So that was taken care of. But anyways, when we got there, um, we were paying in cash and he gave us a receipt. And um, I think we were just flustered this morning because apparently we counted the cash wrong. And um, as we were leaving, he turned around and he said, hey, you paid too much. And he's like, wait, what? Apparently we put an extra 20 pounds in there on accident. Thankfully the guy was really honest and noticed and gave it back to us, which is really sweet. So. Um, overall, the, the professionalism of this place was great. And even while we were waiting around for our turn to pay, a little man was kind of poking his head around the tire shop and some of the employees were kind of showing him things to check out, which is really fun. So yeah, um, anyways, that's the end of our little disaster in the Highland story or heck in the Highland. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video. I guess by the time you see it, it won't matter. So anyways, we've been at the cottage for two days now, basically, and they 
sun is going down and it looks so pretty behind the lock and you can actually see pretty soon we'll be a sunset so if i remember to film it i'll show it to you but if i don't i'm sorry but at some point i will get a picture of a sunset over the lock so i'll be able to show it to you but anyways yeah um we're here at the cottage um the cottage is a two bedroom cottage it's got a twin room downstairs and a double upstairs just where mr and i are sleeping it's got a beautiful garden so i'll give you guys a little tour it's a giant mess but you know what this is real life so i'm just going to show it to you guys really quickly and then i think i'm going to make mr and little man and i some dinner so um as you guys can already see we are in the living room um it is a mess in here because i had to rearrange a little bit to um film when you first come into the cottage this is the front slash side slash only door that opens you actually can open these ones over here as well but um this is the one that we have the key for and i think the key actually works both of them but you guys don't want to hear about that anyways um this is the living room it's also the conservatory which originally i was just like mm, i don't know how that might be cold however it is a little bit chillier in here because of all the windows but if you guys just look at this view that we have having the conservatory as the living room that's the lock back there incredible um it's not very big as you guys can see but it's perfect for three people and actually my favorite thing about the living room that's really funny is there is literally a stuffed moose head up here it's actually stuffed like you know like a fake moose head but i think that's really great if i were to have a moose head in my house that's the kind i would have actually i think if i had a cottage now i feel like i'd be like obligated to get one of those and put it on the wall but anyways um from here the house kind of splits off in two directions. You can go this way down to little man's room and then that way down into the dining room. Um, show it to you guys. So we're gonna go down here to the left and we're gonna go into little man's room first. I'm coming in! And little man and Mr. in here playing a game, I think. Yeah. Hello. Hello. What are you guys doing? Playing war. You're playing war? Mm -hmm. Who's winning the war? Can I see your cards? Well, let me see your cards. Right here. Well, who's got more? I don't about more. It depends on when the more takes place. Yeah, good point. That's a good point. There's also a wardrobe yeah. right here, um, which oh, is okay. huge, which is good because the upstairs yeah. wardrobe, although it's super cool, does not actually hold much of anything. But anyways, this room has two twin beds in it, which is great if you have two kids, but right now, little man is using one as a sleeping bed and one as a playing bed, which I feel like is pretty good. And then they have this giant wardrobe in here, which is originally, I was like kind of overkill, and then I realized how small the upstairs wardrobe is, which I'll show you guys in just a second. But we put all of our stuff in here just for simplicity. And then in this corner, there is a big old table, which I don't actually know why there is a dining room table size or breakfast nook table in the children's room but I'm actually using it as a vanity so there's nowhere else to get ready in here in the morning anyways so and we move on to the bathroom which is a, a giant mess I just realized um, apparently nobody cleaned up in here after showers this morning um, it's got a shower with towels everywhere and little man's rain jacket that he fell on the lock-in you think a rain jacket would dry it did not dry but it has everything you could need I mean it has a shower sink toilet and a huge washing machine, which has been great. Again, my only complaint with a lot of these vacation rentals is there's not much storage, and so our stuff is just kind of lying everywhere, but you know what, it's fine. It's fine, the show must go on. Life must go on. I have better things to do on my holiday than organize a bathroom, so this is real life, and that's what you guys are getting to see. Anyways, um, coming out of the bathroom, there is this beautiful view, again, out the dirty window, which, I mean, I get it, whatever. Sometimes you just can't have time to clean it, but it just looks so cool from out there you can see the lock and i don't know what kind of bird that statue is if you know what it is tell me in the comment section but now we're gonna go in to the dining room um which is across the other direction from the so living room is there dining room this way and then first thing you see when you come into the dining room is this amazing window right here oh my gosh you can see again the lock see what i mean that's why we're here like just enjoy so much anyway we go into the dining room which Looks like we did not clean up from lunch, but there's a huge table that can fit six people. This place is like a time capsule, you guys, because there's actually a CD player here, uh, which when little man saw it, he didn't even know what it was or what it did. And I explained that it played music and he was like looking for like buttons or something. It was really funny. And then over here, I don't actually know if I've said anything about this or mentioned it before on our channel, but our family does celebrate some biblical holidays or Jewish holidays. So I've got my little like Rosh Hashanah stuff over here for now. On Rosh Hashanah, I'm going to put it on the table, but I just put it here because I'm not sure where else to put it. And also because it's just really pretty. 
and it's really special. And then there's a closet here that has a whole bunch of like seasonal items and a ladder in it, which you guys probably don't wanna see. And then they also have this giant game closet of just stuff. Um, they have like some cookbooks and reading material up there. They actually have a landline here as well. Um, you don't have to plug the phone in, but you can if you want to. And then just like all these old vintage games that you can play with. And then from the dining room, we're gonna move into the kitchen, which is really, really, really tiny. Uh, I mean, you can't quite read, reach across it, but if I turn around in the kitchen, you guys will be able to see that's the whole thing. And no, I did not clean up for you guys because I have better things to do on my holiday than clean up for a YouTube video. But it has everything you could possibly need. Electric stove top to help make sure nobody gets carbon monoxide poisoning from the gas. And then it has a little sink. There's no dishwasher, but it's really not a problem to ha hand wash for a couple of days for three people. But yeah, there's that. I forged some blackberries this morning. So I think I'm gonna make some crumble tonight with go with our dinner. So, mm, they're so good. It also has a small fridge and a view of the cottages from the window. I'll show that to you guys. As you guys can see, it has a little rose garden, a dead plant. <laughs> bag of apples and then you can see how they view of all the little cottages and then leaving the kitchen we're gonna go upstairs now which this staircase is gonna like be the death of me I've fallen like twice not hard but you know clumsily upstairs and you guys know I just love winding staircases so here we go it's actually better if I'm looking into the camera because I don't have to look at it but it leads to the loft slash the bedroom. I guess it's not really a loft, it's just the upstairs. And it's small, but it's like the perfect size for two people. And it looks like this. And then my favorite thing about it is, there's a couple of things I really like. It has like this super old um, wardrobe in here, which it really does look like, you know, it's like a Viking door or something, or something you'd see in a castle. But when you open it, you can put your clothes in it and stuff. And that's really neat. And then onto my favorite part of the entire cottage. Well, I don't know if that's my favorite part. My favorite part of the upstairs is this. So when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I get to do is crawl out of bed, open the curtains, and see this. Is that not incredible to see in the morning? Oh my gosh. I am in love. Oh, it's amazing. I was so happy when I woke up our first morning here. But yeah, that's it. Uh, that's the entire house. So now I'm actually going to go downstairs and make us some dinner. And I will see you guys when I see you. Look at that sunset, y'all. Ah, I'm so happy we're staying on the east side of the lake. So you can see the sunsets. 